So I'm actually doing a number of different pieces that all broadly relate to inequality. Um, so for example, I'm working on a piece right now with uh, Angus Deaton and Anne Case in Princeton and also uh, Rob Joyce here at the IFS on um, inequalities in mortality and relating that to inequalities in the labour market. So really looking at differences across geographies, across education levels um, and how that's evolved over time. I'm also working on a piece um, on um, the gender pay gap and looking at specifically how um, how much of the gender pay gap can be explained by the differences in the firms in which women and men work. Um, more broadly here we've got a huge new project um, on inequality which is called the Deaton Review of Inequality that will run for the next five years or so. That's led by Angus Deaton in Princeton. Um, and that will eventually look at all different dimensions of inequality, both the trends in inequality, but also the sources in inequality. We're trying to look at inequality very holistically, um, so not just looking at income inequality, which economists often do, but also looking at inequalities in health, inequalities in family structures, um, also looking at inequalities between groups, so for example, different genders, different ethnicities, um, as well as individuals. Um, also the project's very much policy focused, so we're hoping to not just diagnose the problem but also come up with potential policy solutions to those problems and we do that by looking at different countries and seeing you know, what's worked in other countries. Um, so I suppose ideally um, we put out policy recommendations and those would be taken on board by different governments across the world. Um, I guess I got involved in the subject because I find it interesting. Um, I think inequality is a very important issue in our time.